Need I say more? Butt pillow time. Hey Greens and welcome to another unboxing your mail. It's almost like butt pillow time and unboxing your mail go together. Today I have quite a few packages, but the first one I'd like to start with is um, something I feel a little guilty about. This package here was sent to me, um, I think in October, I feel really bad. And it's actually something sent for my parrot, Angel. The worst thing is I asked them if I could buy it because I wanted to buy it and they had a Kickstarter, but instead they decided to send it to me for free. I was like, sure, I'll be more than happy to promote it. But then it kind of got lost and a mountain of craft materials I totally forgot I had. So as I was starting to clean up the room, I found it. I was like, oh, that's true, I have that. <laughs> So this is a guilty unboxing. Oh no. Oh, I am so sorry. You know what? I'll tell you what it is. This product is called Beak Box. So it's a stimulating toy for parrots and birds in order for them to play their favorite music or their favorite words. Anything that you want them to learn or enjoy their time together so they kind of pull on a string or anything and they get to play their own audio. And knowing how much Angel loves the, I know it sounds weird, but he loves the Naruto Bijou song. So I'll link that down below it is his favorite song of all time I would love nothing more than to give him the chance to play it whenever he wants I'm sure it's gonna get annoying at some point so in here I have the instructions and then in here I have a note I'm so sorry Jessica and team beatbox so here it is and as you saw on the footage that I played this is going to be oh wow oh they included a micro SD adapter <gasps> they actually put sounds for Angel I am so sorry so sorry Please forgive me. Grains, if this is something that interests you and you have a burb, or if you know someone that has a burb, please share it. Please, please, please. So the idea is you pretty much program it and burbs get to press or pull and it gets to play what they like. So I'm going to see what sounds they put for Angel and we're going to put it together and see what his reaction is because I hope he's not gonna be too scared, but generally speaking, he likes to pull and push buttons. So fingers crossed. All right, so I got this to be plugged in and now we just put it in here. So hopefully it's on. Is this turned on? I turn the volume. I didn't put any updates just yet. I wanted to see if it works right off right from the box. I put the micro SD. I don't know. Okay, so it doesn't work just yet. Go read the instructions, Jackie. Or instead of reading the instructions, wouldn't it be a good idea if I plugged it in? And now the light's turned on. It just goes to show that sometimes plugging it in and out is what you need to do. Okay, so... Oh! oh. That is cute! Because it's beatbox, get it? Beatbox. And you can adjust the volume too. That is really cute. All right, so I'm gonna install this on Angel's cage and see whether or not he's going to touch it. Hopefully he does, but we'll find out. All right, so I did install it and he is curious, but I think he's still scared of it for now. <laughs> and this is what it looks like on the inside. So if he presses this button here, and I did put his favorite song in there. It has to absolutely be MP3. So when it comes to parrots, oh, <laughs> what are you doing? You have to give them a few days to get used to things. Sometimes a few weeks, right? I'm a person and you are stepping all over me, Burp. Yeah. <laughs> of course, victory dance. All this to say, I will update your grains as videos go along as he gets used to it, but it's, it's gonna take a bit. So please, please, please make sure you check out the beatbox, whether it's for you or someone you know that has a burp or just share it and let them know on their Facebook or whatever, their social media, Nerdy Crafter says, sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Next is this huge, huge package from Kim Schroeder from Germany. This is quite the box and it's really heavy, so. Let's see what we get. Unlike the first box, this is a surprise. The other one I just kind of lost. So it's a lot of, a lot of moving in there. All right, let's see. Oh, oh, my recycling bin is right here, by the way. Holy moly. Oh my God. What? Kim, what is this? Oh my God. Let's find the note. I found, read me. I found it. Oh, that is pretty. That is really pretty. 
So this letter is from Kim from Germany, who is 22, but we seem to have quite a bit in common. Also, apparently in Germany, in March, there's a crafting fair called Creativa. Holy moly grains, if we are allowed to travel again in March, I'm 100% going to go to this fair. I love craft fairs, and it's one of my dreams to travel to Germany. I know I'm ranting, but if any of your grains are in Germany, and if I'm there at the same time, hit me up, let's hang out. I would love nothing more and that's pretty much what I did a few times in Japan a couple of grains messaged me and we're like yeah let's let's hang out so we went we went out for supper and at some point I was playing arcades quite a bit so <laughs> you just have to deal with my dorkiness I'm sorry all right so the first drawing is of me with my pets as a Pokemon I haven't seen it yet and <gasps> Oh my god! This has got to be watercolor. Oh, that is so pretty! We have Ramses and Splinter, and we have Burr! <laughs> is he smacking me? Oh no! Oh, he's electric! I can see it. I can definitely see my Burb as being an electric type. And Splinter is water or psychic, and then Ramses is fire or ground. I love it! I really love it. I could definitely see Splinter as the water type, but wait, no. He's really afraid of water. Ramses doesn't really care about water. He will actually sit with me on the tub, the, the edge of the bathtub, until I finish coming out of the shower, whereas Splinter wants nothing to do with water. So it would kind of be cute if he was the water type, but afraid of water. That would be a really cute character. That's adorable. I'm going to put this on my background, so you'll probably be able to see it, unless I'm in the way. And then we have a bunch of craft kits that are from the German dollar store, which is anywhere between three to five five euros I believe. I'm not sure where to start but holy moly quite a few gifts in here. This is more watercolor. I am not good at water mediums. Every time I paint I tend to use oil paints because they are the friendliest for me. What is this? Make your own model ship. So this is the first kit that comes up. This would be really fun to do during a live stream. I'm always saying things would be fun during live streams and yet there's never enough time in the day to have many live streams. What's that? That's a spatula. Did you make this, Kim? So we have an engraved spatula. This is really pretty. They say to soak your spatulas in vinegar in order to remove whatever oil is in there. I don't know if it's true, but most of my spatulas are made out of plastic. Let me know, do you grains use wooden or plastic spatulas? I'm curious. Very random question, but I'm curious. Okay, I'm gonna take the things that are not wrapped first. Deco Unicorn Kit. Decorate with stickers, gems, and a mini marker. This could be interesting, but it seems like it's quite the basic one. I know that Kim said that some of these things she has no hope on, so I guess we'll find out. Ooh, what's that? We're gonna have to go with the wrapped things because <laughs> the stuff at the bottom, every time I'm lifting it, everything is just kind of coming up. I need to go one thing at a time. So, I love this wrapping paper, by the way. This is absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> stickers! I love stickers so much! At some point, I think everyone's gonna do a compilation of me just saying, I love stickers so much, because I... <gasps> oh no, Kim! Oh my god! Little kitty cats! Oh, I love those! If I were still making resin charms, 100% I would be making these ones. I just haven't had much time to do those. And then we have some mermaid-themed ones. Stars and wacky monsters. Those are really cute. And this one, it feels like it could be a squishy. Oh, I think it's a squishy. So, <gasps> oh, this is perfect timing. So this one is called Squeeze Squad and it's a plushie. And if I'm not mistaken, it's a squishy plushie. So this is really cute. This is good timing because I have a project in mind. I'm not gonna do it just yet, but this is potentially going to be part of a, an entire video. So stay tuned for that. I'm super excited. This is really soft. Next we have, I like to always guess what's in there. Books, maybe? Oh, not too far. Oh, I'm not wrong. So here we have stationaries. I love stationaries too. Stickers are stationaries. We have bookmarks of kitty cats and owls. I love bookmarks. I tend to use them a lot when I'm studying. Unfortunately, our Japanese classes were canceled for obvious reasons. So I have to continue studying Japanese on my own. This is a really cute mini notebook. So it says to-do list, do nothing, check. Have you grades ever seen pandas? Oh, oh, that is cute. I love little, look at that. That's cute. This is perfect for a little bag. This is good. 
I like mini things. What was I saying? Oh yeah, <laughs> have you cranes ever seen pandas in the wild? They are one of the clumsiest creatures ever. They tend to trip and fall all on their own. So a lot of these zookeepers have to hold them so they don't fall. They're really cute, but pandas are, are pretty clumsy. Next in here, mm, it feels like it could be a figurine perhaps. Let's find out. Oh, what fell in between? Oh, that's like a candy. I think the candy was in here. Oh, there's quite a few of those. Okay, I'm guessing I'm not wrong again. I am telling you, I have like psychic ability. It's a lip balm, but it does come in a package that does kind of hold figurines. This is really cute though. That is really, really cute. Is that Japanese? That is Japanese. Fresh apple fragrance. I'm gonna be using that, that's for sure. Oh, washi tapes. I have a really unhealthy collection of washi tapes that I don't use. I have everything from like Sailor Moon to Rilakkuma to Pokemon. I just buy them. Let me know if you have a hobby of things that you collect that are useful, but you don't necessarily use them. I mean, figurines are different because they're made to be stationary, but if you have something that's supposed to be used like envelopes and you just don't use them, let me know. Okay, I can start seeing these snacks. There's a Milky Way. I've never had a Milky Way before. Let me taste it. Oh, that smells really sweet. So it looks like a standard chocolate bar and on the, oh, oh, that is, that is cream on the inside. Oh, mmm, that is really good. Very sweet, probably wouldn't be able to eat too much of it. Maybe a tiny piece like that, that is really sweet. The flavor does taste familiar. Very good, but very sweet. Kinders, you can't go wrong with Kinder. I think in the US recently, they made Kinder Surprise not illegal for you Amerigrains. Let me know if that's true. What is that? Bros broken. I have no idea what this is. By the way, I will be sharing a lot of these snacks with Sika, but I don't think I'll be seeing her for at least a couple of weeks. So I might as well try a couple of these. What is that? It smells kind of fruity. I have no idea what this is. It's a little chalky. Fizzy, fizzy, fizzy. Oh my God, it's very fizzy. What is that? It's very fizzy. It's fizzy, it's not chocolate anymore. <laughs> That was really fizzy. It's a little on the sour side, but yes, it had an orangey flavor to it. I have no idea what it is. Is it a dessert or is it medicine? Please let me know in the comment section below if you've had this before. I feel like Sika would love this. She loves sour fizzy things. And now we have Haribu Pico Bala. These are really new snacks to me. Even though we have European markets around here with German snacks, I've never seen many of these things. Oh, that smells very fruity. I'm probably gonna like this one. So it kind of looks like a licorice and there's two probably gummy flavors on the inside. Mm -hmm. It tastes exactly what it looks like. So the outside is kind of like the outer rim of a Twizzler and then the inside is like a soft gummy taffy. That makes sense. Pretty good. I'm gonna get <clears throat> a sugar high, I think. What are you? Unicorn gummies? Rainbow edition. So here we have the rainbow unicorn gummies. I am so full of sugar right now. I think I'm gonna save some to try with Sika when I see her because I don't want a sugar rush so, <laughs> so late in the day. So here it is. That is really colorful. For those of you who've ever had gummies in North America versus gummies in Japan, they are very different because they're not allowed to use specific colorants in Japan that North America uses. So they have different flavors and I really, really like those in Japan too. I feel like Japanese snacks are really worth I like them the most because they're like not too sweet, just the right balance. But I absolutely love trying snacks from all over the world. And I, I feel like a lot of the things that I'm trying nowadays is thanks to you, Rain. So thank you for that. Okay, I see another craft kit. Oh my God, what is that? Oh, <laughs> why is this in it? So we have a decorate your own puppy. What's that? I think the puppy is hidden at this point. And I don't know what's going on, but it feels like you're decorating it with paper or like paper mache style. I think that's the case. I'm not 100% sure, but it feels like that's what we're getting. So this is gonna be interesting. I can't wait to make a German craft kit edition video. Kim, you're absolutely hilarious. I feel like Kim just grabbed a handful of these. I'm not sure if they're taffy or if they are hard candy. They are, that's really good. So I feel like Kim scooped a handful and dropped them in the entire box. That's really good. Though. Next we have a seahorse sequin kit. I say skeptically. So I'm not sure if it's just the seahorse or if we're getting any of these other designs over here. This is interesting. I don't think I've seen a sequin kit. Is that how you say it, sequin? Sequin. Girls are <laughs> magic. 
I'm thinking I've tried a similar kit like this before. So this is similar to make your own pins, except I think this is a liquid. And if this is from the European dollar store, that's really good because I think I may have paid like $30 for a kit similar to this. And it shows what we get in the back. So this is interesting. I hope this is a good kit. Ooh, we have a chocolate and I think this is coconut. I'm not sure if it's coconut or cream or if it's coconut cream. Again, I'm going to keep some of these to try with Sika because she is absolutely hilarious. Oh my god, there's so many snacks. Crazy dips. Belistos. Jumpy's paprika. So I guess it's like a paprika chip. Oh my god, kangaroos. Oh, I've had these before. One of you grains sent this to me. They are so good. Holy moly. If you're having a tea or a coffee, if you see this, 100% grab one. <laughs> this is really cute. We have sour nuggets. Again, Seiko would probably love. I feel like these might be similar to nerds. Okay, this is weird. Glow candy. I'm gonna have to do a video on that one. Strawberry flake gummies. I don't know what these are. A bunch of duplos, which are very similar to Kinders. Yogurt chocolate. Ooh, more yogurt chocolate. Cute little Kinder box. These chocolates are absolutely phenomenal. They are, they are pretty much high end here. So if you do see them in North America, try them out. They are really creamy. The one I really like is the blue one. So I'll have to try some of these out. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen this before. I don't know what a center shock is, but it scares me. Just to give you grains an idea, there's quite a bit of snacks in here. And the last piece that is wrapped in here, I have no idea what's inside. Feels like it could be a necklace. And it is a necklace. <laughs> I feel like I have psychic powers. Oh, that is pretty. So it's a tiny paper boat in the ocean. I really love this glass charm. That is really, really pretty. I do have quite a few packages to open, but since Kim's bots had so many surprises and wonderful gifts, thank you so much, Kim. I'm going to start recording the next unboxing right away, and I'll probably release it only in a few days, so you don't have to wait a whole week for me to unbox. I'll try to release two videos on the vlog channel and two videos on my main channel. Also, don't forget, if you want to watch more unboxings, check up here. And if you want to watch a video that YouTube thinks is probably a good one, you could check it down here too. Thank you so much for watching my little grains. Until then, I will see you in the next video.